In this video, we are going to continue with search. You will find this on page 6 in the Namibia AS level mathematics textbook Y equals MX plus C to success. Multiplication of search. As A a half times a, a exponent a half is 1, because a half plus half is 1, we can apply the following property for multiplying search with the same number under the square root. So if you multiply it, you will square, you will just get A. And this is very, very important. That, and I'm going to say, so if you say square root 2 times square root 2, it will just be 2, because it's 2 to a half times 2 to a half, and a half plus half is just 1. Okay, so if it's exactly the same, and you multiply it, then it will be just the inside. Very, very important. So, multiplying search that have the same number under the square root gives a rational number. When multiplying search with different numbers under the square root, first multiply the numbers under the square roots, then simplify if possible. So, this is not almost like the reverse. So, I will make it 1, I multiply, and then I simplify. Okay, let's, let's look at the next one. When we multiply in search such as this, we multiply the numbers written in front of the, the root sign and then multiply the numbers under the root sign. So 6 times 2, that will be 12, and then uh, 3 times 5 will be inside the square root 15. Then if we, it can simplify, we will simplify it. Okay, let's look at a few examples. So if you do this one, first multiply the numbers, and then you see if it can. So it's 64 times 7, otherwise use your prime factors, and it's 8 square root 7. The same here. First multiply the numbers in front, that's 6, then the inside, and then the best is to break it up into prime factors. Okay, and then, uh, then it's easy because then you can see what can come. So this is 4 divided 2, it's 2. 2 divided 2, it's 1, and then you multiply, this is 9 times 5 times 6, which will give you this, and there is the square root 2. This one, uh, I applied the short method, otherwise you have to rewrite the bracket out two times. So I square the first one, I square the last one, and then minus, because there's a negative, 2 times the first and the last, the first and the last. And then basically, I just say 3 squared, that's 9, a square root times square root 2, it's just 2. Uh, this is 2 times 3 times, um, so it's 6 times 4, it's 24, so it's square root 12. And this is 4 times 4, 16, and that's 6. And then I basically can simplify 18, 96, and then i just going to see if I can break this further up. So that 2 can go out, so that's why it's 48, and I just add that 2. So just then simplify. Okay, I want you to stop the video. I want you to do A and C. And again, continue the video as soon as you are finished. Let's start with number A. So it's square root 14 times square root 21. So make it 1. And then say 14 times 21. Okay, now in this case, I can break it up. So what I did here, you can first multiply, but what I did is I said 2 times 7 times 3 times 7. I actually tried to break it up already in prime factors. So then I get 2 times 3 times 7 squared. So the 7 can come out. Do you see that 2? So it's 7 and 2 times 3, that will just be 6. That's how I simplify this one. Okay, let's do C. Okay, number C, now it's just a lot of brackets, I'm thinking, not difficult, two brackets. So that's square root 7 plus 2 square root 5. Okay, now in this case, I'm going to say this one, and I times, and I times. And then, okay, let's first do that. Okay, so I'm going to get... In this case, 4, and now, do you see, I, I first I'm just going to write it down, that you see that. Okay, then, then I say 4 times 2, that's going to be 8, and I'm going to write it out again. 
So it's going to be square root 7, square root 5, okay? And now I'm taking this one and I times, so what will I get? Negative 3, square root 5, square root 7. And then, uh, in this case, it's going to be negative 6. Oh, let's just get that 6 better. 6 square root 5 square root 5. So in this case, and because I want, you can say 49 and square root of 49 is 7, but if it's the same, then it's just becoming 7. Do you see? This one is not the same, so 7 times 5 is 35. Okay. This one, 5 times 7, it's also 35, minus 6, and then I have the 5. Okay. So then it's going to be 28. Now, do you see that this is like? Like. So that is going to give me then that 5 square root 35. And then 6 times 5 is 30. And that is going to give me that 5 square root 35. And uh, 28 minus it's negative 2. Or you can put the negative 2 in front. But that is the simplest form. Make sure... You can multiply with it and know the rules. Very, very easy.